Hey everybody, Jeremy here and welcome to this tutorial on storyboarding with Shapes XR. So what do we mean by storyboarding? Well, Shapes XR uses a special system called stages that work kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. Now in a PowerPoint presentation, you can create multiple slides or panels to show how an XR experience, a product or a story changes over time. Now instead of slides, we use stages in Shapes XR and each stage is its own separate fully immersive 3D environment and you can add multiple 3D environments or stages to your project and then you can toggle back and forth between these panels to show how a prototype changes over time in an immersive 3D environment. So let's jump in and learn how the stages system works. So to activate the stages system, just press up on your non-dominant thumbstick and you can see here that we are currently on stage one. So let's go ahead and add something to this stage. Okay, so we've got a simple little menu interface here, and I wanna show how this menu looks when users interact with it. And we're gonna do that by creating multiple panels or stages of the same scene, but each with slight variations. So let's add a second stage to our project. Now we have two options. We can either duplicate the stage we're currently on by pressing this button here, or we can create a brand new blank stage by pressing this plus button here. Now for our purposes, let's go ahead and duplicate the stage. And we're actually gonna duplicate it twice. So you can see as I toggle back and forth between these three stages, just by moving my thumbstick to the left or right, that all three stages are exactly the same. So let's go over to stage two and let's change one of the buttons. Let's simulate what a hover effect might look like. So let's just change the color and scale the button up a little bit. All right, now let's go to stage three and simulate what the button looks like once it's activated. And we'll do that by just changing the color. And now we can toggle through the stages and we can see how the prototype changes over time. Now by using these buttons up here, we can delete and reorder stages if we need to. And this is a pretty simple example, but hopefully you can already start to see the potential of the stages system. Okay, we're in a new project now, and as you can see, we've got some pretty detailed background information going on here. So for this prototype, I want this entire background to appear on every single stage. Now this is common when you're creating things like menu interfaces. The background of the menu never changes, just the buttons change. So instead of duplicating all of this environmental information over and over again, I can use Shapes XR's background layer. So to enter the background layer, activate your stages menu again, and if you notice, underneath the stage numbers, you can see the word background. So just pull your thumbstick down to enter the background layer, and anything you add to the background layer is going to appear on every single stage. Now I've built this environment on the background layer, so if I add a new blank stage, the environment is still here. So this is a great way to optimize your spaces too. To save on storage space, put any repeating shapes on the background layer. And to exit the background layer, I just push up on my thumbstick again, and I'm back to my top layers. All right, so we're off of the background layer and we're on stage one, and this is where I built this spaceship. But let's say that I actually meant to build it on stage two. No worries, you can easily move objects from stage to stage. Just select your object, pick it up, and while you're holding the object in your hand, just toggle over to your desired stage. It's that easy. Anything you hold in your hand goes with you from stage to stage. You can also easily move things on and off the background layer by using the same process. Now, let's say that I actually want my spaceship on both stages one and two, and I want it to be in the exact same position on both stages. I have three options. One, I can just duplicate my stage like we did before or two, I can move the rocket ship down to the background layer. But if I do that, the rocket ship is gonna be on every single stage. Let's say that I just want my spaceship on a few stages. So here's how you can duplicate an object, move it to another stage, and ensure that it stays in the exact same position. Go to the stage with the object on it that you want to duplicate and pick up the object. Now, move the object back to where you just picked it up, and as you do so, you'll notice a tiny white ring appears in the air. If you align the white dot of your controller with that white ring, kind of like putting a basketball through a hoop, the object will snap back to its last location. So this is great if you accidentally pick up an object, you can easily return it to its original position. But for our use case, I'm going to snap the object back to its original location and then press the duplicate button, which is this button right here. Now, as you walk through this process, make sure that you don't let go of the object. So I snap the object back to its original location and press the duplicate button. 
After I duplicate the object, I'm now going to move to the next stage. And as you can see, I still have that floating white ring in the air. So I'm just going to snap my object to the ring and then release and boom. You can see as I toggle back and forth between the two stages, I've duplicated the object and retained its exact original position. So here's an example of a quick prototype of a medical AR application. Uh, this will demonstrate how the stages system works in order to tell a story. So for this prototype, we use one of our templates, which you can access through the main lobby. And we placed this examination room on the background layer so that it remains steady and consistent throughout the experience. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the stages menu and walk you through the prototype. So the doctor enters the room and she retrieves a pair of AR glasses off the table. And once she puts them on, the AR interface appears before her, which you can see here. And now I'll switch stages so we can see her view. And you can see that her hands are now represented as digital hands and she can interact with the environment. So she grabs a corner of the screen and she enlarges it. And that's it. So this is just a quick example of how the stages system works to demonstrate user interactions. So the last thing I wanna show you is our viewpoint system. So viewpoints are specific geographic locations that you can set inside your prototype. I think it's easiest to understand if we just go ahead and create one. To add a viewpoint, I press the shapes button on my non-dominant hand, and then I activate the viewpoint menu, which is this little camera icon right here. So to create a viewpoint, I just grab this floating head off the menu and I place it anywhere I want in the scene. Now for interactive prototyping, this is great. I can use these viewpoints as spawn points. If I come down to the bottom of the menu, you can see I can toggle between the viewpoints just like I could in the stages system. And the view from that viewpoint, it's displayed up here on this monitor. Now by pressing this get in the viewpoint button, I automatically teleport to the viewpoint that I have selected in my menu. And when I teleport, I'm automatically scaled to the proper size. So really handy if your prototype needs to be viewed from multiple locations. Now up here on my monitor, you'll see this camera icon. If I click on that icon, Shapes takes a picture of that viewpoint and those pics are exported and you can access them through your web panel. So you can sort of use these viewpoints kind of like cameras. You can even change the field of view by using this slider here. So after I take some pictures, I can access my exported images from the web panel, and now I can easily add those panels to other presentation platforms. So that's a quick overview of the Stages system. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have fun creating in Shapes XR.